I'm Neil Robertson and I'm the reigning world porridge champion and people ask me how do you make the best porridge in the world? In order to qualify for the competition you're only allowed to use three ingredients oatmeal, salt and water. For my porridge I prefer to use Afford oatmeal, it's a medium ground, it cooks out relatively quickly, still retains a bit of texture but with a good creaminess in the finish as well. So we start off with the oatmeal going into the pan. We then add our water on top. We'll give it a slight stir just to get it mixed through and leave it in peace until it comes up to the boil. What you find is a lot of people when they're cooking their porridge in the competition, they stare at it and they fiddle with it for ages. I find the best thing is to stand back, be patient and listen to the porridge. Because as it starts to bubble and thicken, it just starts to make this fabulous little bloopy noise. And it talks to you. I know it sounds stupid, but I think it talks to me. And you just realise it's making the right noise. That's when it's ready. That's when it's time to go. I find this cooks out quite quickly, something around 9 to 10 minutes in a warm kitchen, maybe a little longer if it's a cool kitchen. Um, the reason it sometimes takes a long time for porridge to cook out is that people put the salt in at the very beginning. Um, and as with any pulses, lentils, etc., when you're cooking them, you should only salt your porridge at the very end. I'm just going to take a little, little. I use sea salt, I find it's more forgiving than your normal table salt. Um, I'm putting quite a generous pinch into the porridge now. Of course, the most important thing to do with any dish before you serve it is to make sure it tastes right. So, I will just give this a little taste. And do you know what? It actually needs a touch more salt. And there you go. That's how you make the best porridge in the world.